So we're here with Kristen Megan. She's a military veteran, right? Yes, I was in the U.S. Air Force for nine years. Wow. And you came out and blew the whistle on geoengineering, things that you witnessed were going on. Can you give us the real nutshell? Absolutely. Basically, I had heard of what many people know as the term chemtrails. Um, and I worked in a job called bioenvironmental engineering. And I figured, I thought that was insane. And why would we do something like that? Modify the weather by using hazardous materials in our atmosphere. So, and actually the process of trying to debunk it or disprove it I realized it was actually coming right out of my office as I was one of the people that was approving the chemicals. And um, it really shook the core of my oath. And I did a lot of sampling, did a lot of investigation, and I blew the whistle and I got out. And I've now used my credentials, my oath, and my powers for good to help people understand it's very real. It's now openly admitted. There are multiple forms of weather modification. I specifically found the one of stratospheric aerosol injection. and. Um, collectively around the globe, we have to understand that it is now being admitted because they're saying it's combating climate change. Well, the climate change we need to be worried about is man-made climate engineering, also known as geoengineering. And when you say you had chemicals being pumped into the air, what kind of chemicals are they putting out that rain down on humanity, basically? Nanoparticulate metals, like we had different sulfates and barium and stromium. Uh, I know it's probably changed over time. I know they use silver iodide for certain things, but these are The, the odd part of it was the quantities that I saw them coming in, the form that they were coming in, and it's the same type of materials that I was trying to engineer out of the workplace to substitute with safer materials. And when you notice that the what's called the safety data sheet, the information about a chemical of what personal protective equipment to wear, how do you dispose of it, how do you pack it to ship it, when key information is missing, I ask questions, and my questions led to demonization, and I knew I found something I shouldn't have. That's insane. So these metals are basically toxic for the humans, I would presume? or Yes, because it also has aluminum, aluminum. And a lot of people will tell you, well, these things aren't horrible in small quantities. It's not small quantities. Because when you are putting things above us, the dissipation rates are dependent on weather and climate. But it's getting into the food. It's getting into the soil. And around the world, these wastewater treatment plants, when it comes to pharmaceuticals or these toxicants is what they're called, They are not able to filter them out. So if you're growing organic food, you know, it's, are we going to go back to the plexiglass barriers on our plants? I mean, it's horrible. That's why you can ban it anywhere. We've had states, uh, states in the United States ban it, and that is great to get the ball rolling. But people really need to wake up to it, irrespective of any political party. It's not okay. And you're seeing a huge increase in neurodegenerative issues like Alzheimer's. Uh, it's really difficult for people with respiratory issues and asthma. And people are wondering why they have allergies 24-7, 365. And I liked what you said about that climate change or the, the change we experience in weather. Often we can't disconnect uh, that from these geoengineering activities. Do you want to say something more about that? I mean, how do we feel that? Is, that, is there proof or so that that is definitely coming from that? Yes, uh, there are places that openly admitted it. Remember Dubai? And then when people got upset, they retracted it, but the can was already opened. And the issue is, I know this sounds silly, but when you watch movies with time change, they say if you do something and something changes, it changes the ripple throughout time. If you are modifying the weather, you are messing with mother nature. And meteorology is a very, very thorough study. And I do know a lot of it because of my profession of plotting hazards, but it does not make sense when you are altering nature where things are not naturally supposed to occur. We had massive flooding in California, and we have a system called HARP that is in uh, the United States. And the same people who demonized me five, 10 years ago are now going, wow, because they're finding it's openly admitted in all of our U.S. documents. The U.S. is absolutely not the only country doing it. Wow, that's crazy. Well, thank you very much for coming out on that and letting humanity know what's going on. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. Thank you.